<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to the last door. Let's go for the next episode. Episode 3, The Four Witnesses. Oh. Previously on the last door. After the death of his old friend Anthony, David decides to travel back to the school they both attended in the outskirts of Aberdeen. In his search, David meets his whole teacher, Father Ernest. He also remembers the experiment they all attended many years back, which had terrible consequences. Then through this reveal, Father Ernest worships the eye of the bird, a vision resulting from the experiment. He killed many people trying to replicate the results. Those who saw the eye back then, he calls the four witnesses. When discovered, Ernest immolates himself. Finally, Ernest's servants knocks David out and buries him alive. All is darkness. Open up! All is cold. Yeah, we ended up the chapter like being buried. True, true, true. Smash that shit! All is silence. Open! Smash it. Oh! Oh, yeah. Is he okay? He was buried alive. So. <laughs> Not a situation you want to find yourself in, you yeah? Oh! Yeah. Let's see. I think each chapter has a uh, different track, so I wanna listen to what this chapter music is gonna have. Dream or is this real? Where am I? What do I have on my face? I'm like pouring my eyes not from the snowy. Wait, what? Who this? Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother deceased. Oh, this is my father. Arrangements have to be made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position or responsibility can take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will depart to for Scotland. I'm sending you to study at the St. Gall boarding school in Aberdeen. You need not, not bother to write as I will not have time to read your letters. So this is before we went we were we were sent to school. This is our arrival to the school? First day. Still no letters for you, David. Please do not persist any further. Bro, my father was like, get out of my house. You're not my son anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna even send you letters. This is a new song too. So good. The songs fit so perfectly for each situation. It's crazy. Pleased to meet you, my new, class my new classmates. Who's that? Him? Oh, that's just David. Hey, no mind. He's a little odd. Interesting. So this will be Anthony. When he befriended us. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. This is my first term here. I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends. Just give me a handshake. Okay, nice. We need to find why and how he died. Huh. 
we're back. Back to reality. Is my arm okay? I'm holding my right arm, no? What is happening? A shiver runs down my spine when I look at what could have been my eternal deathbed. Damn. What is that? My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I'll faint. Dear Lord, where am I? A ticket? We got a ticket. The four witnesses, number four. I wonder how it got in my pocket. Also, again, one of the heads or like the faces is scratch. Why is there blood on the ground? A ticket to see a play called the Fort Witnesses. Oh, this is like a theater, like a musical, something. I don't know. I don't know, Abraham. I have no idea. <laughs> I have the same clues as you. Okay, we are. Where are we? Looks like some kind of sewers or something, no? I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? I could have escaped. Can't see anything beyond this wall but the dark facades of the of buildings on the far side. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Cheapest potatoes in town. I need to do a skull and asking, guys. Yo, Mike, could you please tell me where I am? Oh, bruv. Okay, let's talk to this vendor. Please, sir, could you give me some water? This ain't a charity, tough. I only sell to paying customers, so come up to get out. I'm dying over here, man. Help uh, Samaritan. There's a car blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass until he has to be moved. Calm. An indigent in red clothing sits leaning against the brickwork. The young man sleeps under filthy blankets. Stain and threadbare sheets travel to dry in the muggy air. Damn, bro. A young woman suffers difficulty breathing. <coughs> Please. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drink. Bro. <laughs> Where's some meat? Ooh, hello. Horse meat for sale. There is a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Hmm. Oh. Did he... Did he recognize me or something? Hello, ma'am. Hello, lady. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why? This is the old Nicole Street Rockery, a darker, more decrepit place like never there was. But that, that's in London. How could I have arrived in this slum? So we're in London. The heck? Okay. From the pipe flows dreamy water full of soot. Yeah, I don't drink that. The stench from this sewer drains is nauseating. Guys, there's no other way to go. Oh no, we're gonna have to drink these guys, I think. Uh. The water's full odor is repulsive, but I, I am overcome with thirst. <laughs> I thought that was when I came from, from a second there. Oh. Holy. Wake up. I must I must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in all night and night. 
<clears throat> I should make my way out as quickly as possible. Okay, let's get out. Uh, we are we can walk full speed now at least. Let's see. <clears throat> Is there anything different? Oh the the car was blocking that path before, no? Okay. <clears throat> let's go over here. Another flashback? Her Dector Wakefield is here to see you, main her. Show him hers. It is about your patient, is it not? There is no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for his last few sessions. So this is maybe Jeremiah's therapist. <clears throat> I've been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He keep the destination to himself. Then it is happening. What's that fear? This guy knows something. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with her, Debbie. But I didn't want to upset you uh, without need as help for the best. Now I am afraid my suspicions could be true. There are some things that I will have to verify first though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, sir, doctor, it is of the utmost importance. No one else knows of this matter. You have my total discretion. Hmm. Episode 3 to 4 Witnesses. Hold up. Are they involved into this? Like, is that my therapist for a particular reason? Or I don't know. I feel like I have been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of this labyrinth. Oh boy. Labyrinth time. Hello? A rusty old oil lamp sits empty in the corner. No, it doesn't belong to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what will, it will do to you without any oil, though. Joink? Uh, though the, the embers look as tough, uh, they will soon extinguish. It's immigrant worth is welcome. I don't know how to say some words, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, do you hear them? It's the crows, searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Oh, the crows again! Cool, you help me! These streets are so confusing to navigate, I'm afraid I have lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one, I can give you direction. I have been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past, and I win the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be open? I have no penny to pay you. I don't believe in fortune telling. I have no penny to pay you. Money is tough or no matter here. Come close to me now. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. The notification for the bits. Hold up. We have to choose our fate. The scream. It begs you to escape. Mute. It tricks your lost name, sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one you know. <gasps> Scream. Uh, the Walker. You have been embarked upon a great journey, but this path has been walked by you before. You step in your own footprints inside a circle of fire. <clears throat> Should we keep track of these guys? The Screen, the Walker. The puppet threads hanging from an immense hand of dust converging, converge upon a single point, your mind. Where memories, oblivions, and shadows cluster as one, it is your friend and foe, your home and your prison. I don't understand. What does, all, what, what does it all mean? I can unpick these uns. The threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child, but you will, oh yes, you will. 
It is not for me to say, but you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we see only what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to live, you must follow the path of the bird. No more direction can I give. Uh, pardon. Pardon me. I must go. You will need a map uh, to guide your steps. Farewell. Wait, so do we need to follow those... Oh, this guy again. He's running away! Who is that guy? A labyrinth. Let's... If I go here, what happens? The street lamp tries to put some light into the gloom. The boarded up window of a rundown house thus smears the glass, preventing me from seeing in the interior. Can I open this? Oh, this is open. Do I want to enter a random house? No, <laughs> I don't. What the fuck is that place? Is that a, like a butcher place or something? Gengar. Gengar is super cool. All the all the phantom Pokemons are super cool. You may keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike and crash jewels. Stay there as you will, and stare into my eyes. I am a shadow's shadow, and will not disappoint. The oh, fuck? Can I enter this? Should I enter this? Oh fuck! Get the fuck up! This is rubbish. Rotten scraps of food and discard papers. Why is this guy everywhere? To get this last shot, I can open it from this side. Okay. Let's go back here. Wait, this is a different place, no? I'm so confused. The glass is fog over, but for a handprint uh, left on the surface. Closed. This is too foggy, so I guess I cannot go here. I mean, I can, but cannot do anything. Okay, that means we have to go either. Well, let me go back here. Oh, this guy is here again. Let's go this way. Oh. Let's follow this guy. Where are you going now? Oh, he opened the door for me. Hell no. Is this a church? Or something? Nah, is, it, is, that, is that guy baiting us? Uh, we have to go... Uh, we cannot go here either because it's too dark. So we have to go to the... This place. Well, let's go here. Maybe we can find some oil. Cuts of rancid meat light discard on the butcher's block. A metal plate is planted in the wall. If I didn't know better, I'll say it was a bolt hole. And we got it. Oh, that one gets that one. The remains of a horse hung by a hook affixed to the wall. Its blood drain seeping into the floorboards. Okay, we need to open this. Uh... Bro. There you go. Hello? Anyone here? Rust out drums empty. I don't like when there is no music. This is oil or wine or something? A bottle of gin. It's empty by maybe some of some use. So we got a bottle. Maybe we can fill it up with something else. This machine is old and in this 
repair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine, despite its conditions. It seems to uh, have been used just recently. I mean, we can, like, uh, um, like, filter some oil or something. It's a glass sensor. Liquids are poured into the top, and the impurities are removed through a valve at the bottom. Okay. Wait, can I get this, maybe? No. So how do we get the oil? From the blob? Nah. Maybe from the fat, you know? Not sure if we can do anything there, honestly. Let's go... Here. I don't think we can explore this. Oh, maybe we can. Rats. That just seems to have been inscribed with an oily rhyme. The Ritz Rats. I'm not sure if that was a warning or an exclamation. Oh, maybe we can get the oil from these pipes. It's very slotted here with an ankle deep pool of water. Patches of oil swirl on its surface. I collect some of the oily water in my gym bottle. Alright, so now we're gonna filter that. And then we can explore the church. Okay, not too bad yet. <laughs> now we're getting two stuck. At least. Let's put this here. I pour the contents of the bottle into the sensor. The oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, it will, uh, I will drain the water until all of the water has been removed. That's it. I have extracted all of the water. So now take the oil. All the oil remains. Can I... We put some oil in the lamp. I fill the lamp with oil. I hope it will be enough to last the night. Will it? Wait, how do I... Now there's a little bit of music. Oh, this woman... Can I put it here? Please? There you go. Now we have a lamp. Um, let's go to the church, use the lamp. Oh, now we can see. An old worn out coat hangs on the rack. In one of its pockets is a pair of gloves. Joink? We have gloves. I don't know for what, but... This portrait of a gentleman with a distant look seems vaguely familiar. Vaguely familiar? An old bottle of Saint Emilion Grand Cru is covered with dust. Interesting. Is it open? That is open. There is also a second floor. Let's do first floor first, no? Let's go here. There's a backyard. Mold covers the good stack on in this shed. Judging by the resin oozing on the surface of this tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. Oh. The door is locked. I can't even move it. The walls of the mausoleum are crumbled with age. There's a mausoleum there. How are we gonna open, open that? Wait, let me check the window. I think I see something on the other side of that window. But from here, I can distinguish what it is. Cool. Let's go upstairs. Spawn anywhere? Because I know some some of them are special places only. Like the most rare Pokemons, you know? A bright meadow. The picture has faded. Someone is laughing. 
Guys, right, so there's a dark color. <laughs> the sitter is a strikingly beautiful young woman. Her features are sharp and aristocratic. What's so funny? A portrait of a middle-aged man. He seems troubled. The doorknob is missing. The man in the picture has quite hypnotic gaze. <laughs> Are you playing the violin all this time? A painting? No. He's trying to play the song correctly. Notes. F E D. Pooh. Come on, you can do it, man. A painting of a beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. Hello? No! No! Did I not pray enough? I, have I not written faithfully every last note you screw into me? Middle C up to A. Measure G up to the uh, second violin, bar two, blah, 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 blah. This was supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C up an octave and then up to G. What? 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 What do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can you see that I'm creating the angel's voice? The work. C to A. An octave higher. A fragile voice flutters around the that strove. No! No! And swallow you. Laugh at you. I lost it again. Are you alright, sir? <laughs> My inspiration, too, is lost, quite lost in the fog. The notes moan. Yes. Maybe we need to find the right melody to tell this guy what her voice is, you know? Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. The best soloist that a composer could have. The voice of an angel, what made music possible. She will stand there by the window, the wind carries her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair, her dress glowed like an ember in the dark sun. Uh, a little bit romanticized, you know? What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my god, her voice, it came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. Oh. I am following a man. Duh, come to think of it, maybe he's following me? He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. What? Please, I need to get out of this place. You asked me for words, but words are betrayers they are dirty music this music remains beautiful but it's a prisoner inside all of us we must set it free i can help you now not until my work is finished my work is the important thing she was my only inspiration <gasps> okay i must go let music and singing around you my man so we need to find paper bunny roll it seems to be a discarded musical score is this the thing that we're seeing through the window? This mannequin thing? Tells mannequin, why is it beside the window? Wolverine is torn. And on the ground there is like music sheets, no? Probably. <laughs> oh, calm. This is the door not missing, no? Yeah, let's go upstairs, maybe. They laugh, it's coming from that room, I think. Oh, there's a piano here. This cage must have, ha have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. I can reach the feather from here. Maybe we need the feather to write the music, you know? This piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from the pressing. It looks like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrolled so poorly as to make it illegible. But you can't overrate it. What the hell was the laugh? I don't know, man. Some creepy man in the house. 
Uh, we haven't gone into this room yet. So we need something to reach the... F now my eyes focus in the gloom. I can see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed up as a young girl for some reason. She appears not to hear or see me from here. I will need to get closer if I am to explain myself. Or maybe we need to walk very slowly, you know? A reflection stares back at me through the crime. A portrait of a beautiful Joan Dancer. Probably this old woman. No wardrobe. It's locked. Huh? There's something amongst the embers. I can't put my hand on, on it or I'll burn myself. Maybe with the gloves? Ooh. It's a spherical piece of metal. A doorknob. Okay. Hello, lady. No, I don't want to dance and sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Who are you? Actually, man, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Uh, don't you recognize me? Uh, no, man, I'm afraid not. I'm very sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's been a while since I last performed, I suppose. But don't you forget it. I'm the great little catty singer, dancer, the golden girl of London Music Halls. Uh, I want to. Get, uh, I'm looking for a gentleman. He's well dressed with red hair. Do you know him? He led me to this place. No, father. I've been practicing the latest repertoire as you order. I have behaved very well today, haven't I? Uh, I want to get out of this place <laughs> straight away. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there. You see, in the fog there are no faces. Let's play. So she's gonna go to the foggy place. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. Okay, what is this at the first? Let me read this. It's a note. March 8th, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wave wavered with his trembling hands. It is still a long time for the day of the show. But I insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. March 21st. Father got really mad at me and he started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little bit in the street. More and more he's obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection! April 3rd. Uh, am I not the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one... Uh, am I... I cannot read, guys. Spanish only. Okay, after this note, after this note. Uh, am I not the one people come from all over to see an empire? Is my name not the one print on all the posters? My name! The dolls for sale uh, at the theater entrance, they have my likeness, my dress, and my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, one more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. Oh, she. Did she kill him or something? She had enough. So we're gonna play hide and seek with you, and lady. So we have to stand by the fire, no? Right. One, two, three. Still there. I can see you. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. I'm doing that. Oh, baby, here. Okay, now. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Oh. Wait, what is happening? Um, hello? What is happening? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Oh, she's gone. Oh! Why are you guys gonna scare me like this? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? One more song. Oh, he's dead. She killed him. She's getting closer to me. Ah! Oh, she she's not here. 
What the place has just happened? My head is pounding. Where did she go? The oh, fuck? The pile of things on the floor after Kathy's disappearance. There is a mask. It's a porcelain mask. It broke when it fell. The distorted features, there is a grotesque to them. I don't like to look at it. And look underneath the mask, a photograph. When she was a dancer. It has a note. Little Catty Show. There's a girl lit up by a spotlight in a music hall singing to live piano. Huh. Mask. Maybe we have to repair it or something. Can we open this? Or this is locked? Where were the keys? What are the keys? Let's use the knob. <laughs> the wooden plaques are blocking the window. I can only see part of the outdoors. <laughs> A big wall mirror. It's so covering dust that I can't recognize my face, though. <laughs> the laughter is coming from behind the curtains. I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. <laughs> what? It's a record. It's a porcelain doll with lifelike proportions. The face has been removed. Leaving her featureless, but his wig shines brightly, as tough of human hair. The record is scratched. It's repeating a loop. Stop it! Okay, I prefer the laugh. I'm not sure, actually. Okay, should we try putting the mask on the doll? <laughs> Let's try the crying thing. Crying right there. No. Is any different? Is anything different now? That seems like the same. Let's go back to Kathy's room. Maybe up here? There was a key hidden? Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? There is a key hidden under... Oh, I got a small key. Okay, I'm glad I checked that. Maybe this key opened the wardrobe. Oh, we got it. There is an elegant scarlet party dress inside. <laughs> We're gonna put that on. Oh boy. The dress and the mask. Nice. We're gonna be Katia's. Uh, let me try to put the dress on the doll. I think that's gonna work, but... Can I do anything with this? Oh, we took the wig. Okay, I see. So we're gonna like impersonate her. Or oh, maybe we do that to confuse the guy playing the violin. So he thinks we're still alive, you know what I mean? Can I put that on myself? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if I put it on the mannequin? So he gets inspired again, you know what I mean? Is this gonna work? He's, he's reacting to it. <laughs> yeah, he's right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. The mask will fall off in this state. I'll have to repair it first. Okay, so we have to repair the mask. How? Mm hmm. 
Not sure. I don't think there is anything else we can do here. Let's go to the fog. Maybe, oh wait, this painting fell or was it there before? No, I think it was there before. Let's go outside. Let's go this way. Maybe Katya is hiding here. Why can't I not use the lamp here? Man? I got lost in the fog. If I am to make my way through, I'll need to orient myself somehow. What? Is this uh, the, the cards we saw before? What was it again? The scream, the walker, and the puppet, no? How do we know which one is it? I got lost again. Oh, the racing. Wait, the racing may fix the porcelain, no? I need something to pick it up, but it makes sense. Racing is like glue, no? So we need a. Uh... Why can't I not do that? Pick it up with my hands. So I need something to pick up the resin. Okay. With this bottle. Can I pick up the bottle? No. I need some kind of recipient or something. Oh, I took the score. You okay, mate? The soul score. Stall. Devoid of grace. Get them away from me. Score. Maybe, maybe we'll use that for the piano. Right, we have to play something there, no? 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 Okay. Uh, Maybe we reach this with the. If I blow through the paper roll, maybe I could manage to make the feather fly. Holy shit! I just tried that randomly, just because out of desperation, and it worked. Damn, I got it. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in the base. So we can put the resin on the feather and use it as uh, glue on the mask. If that's not the way, then I don't know. Please work. Okay. I managed to coat the feather with the resin. Now we fix the map. I've stuck the pieces together with the resin. This face reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. Okay, fix Max mask. So now I can finally rebuild the mannequin. Oh man. The blowing up the feather with the with the paper. That was I could have get stuck there for a while, but I'm glad I was just trying things. Now you have to double check everything because sometimes you you inspect something with the lens and it has a description, but then you have to click it twice to actually pick it up, you know? So Okay, there you go. That should work. Daphne! You're back! Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are m with me again, and I know now exactly how to compense, compose a masterpiece. Please take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. 
the angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I need to get the fuck out of it. <laughs> I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Look for the Seamark. What the fuck is the Seamark? Molto adagio sotto voz, the first violin crochet. Middle note races. <laughs> yeah. oh, do we still have to do something with the piano? No, I think the piano was just to get the key, no? So now we can open the mausoleum and put the violin on the grave, no? On her heart. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who did not hear her. Pete? Oh! Ooh. That's good. Damn, this song, no? Pity for those not blessed by her nave grace. Not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls into divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. <laughs> Wait, the crypt is empty. What the fuck? The sarcophagus is broken! Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? Oh. A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coffin transport through here? My knots are like up here. It's locked. I can see anything through these dirty window panes. Who was that? Oh, this is open now. Okay. Who knocked on the door? Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole. Uh oh. Crows? Darkness there and nothing more. Oh my fucking god. Did I? <laughs> With the help of River, Denia Daphne hid from Sam in the shadow mist. She chained her skin for strong bark, so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Is this a hint for the fog thingy? It's like a map, no? It's like directions. River? Different sun, mist, strong bark, dance frozen, a thousand leaves. Okay. Books with unpronounceable names in dead languages. Myths and legends this time. Norse tales, Greek, ancient, Sumerian, others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I have never seen. Bro, this game is... Oh. Is this the guy from the painting we saw before? I beg your pardon, sir. If I have a start on you. What are you doing here sitting in the dark? Why? I am reading these marvelous books. In the dark? But how can you see the words without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadows always hide from the light, you know. So they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? 
Oh goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Have you seen a man pass this way? His red hair tall and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of, you, of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, crossing the books. He'll pick one off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He and I never spoke though. Why do you ask? Um, I see him sometimes, but his lips are away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he's guiding me towards something. That might be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through the lost places. Can you tell me which books this man perused? Perus? Perus? I don't know how to say that word, guys. Sorry. Let me think. Ah, yes. I recall him looking at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tone. Very revealing and very rare. His bookshop is very fortunate to have copy a copy in this collection. I'm not sure what it is now, but I'm sure it can be far. Pardon the interruption, sir. I'll lead you to your reading. So we need to find that book. A large collection of books. anyway Okay, boys van finished. You should play God of War. It's on my list to play. I want to do like the trilogy, the original trilogy, you know? Um, so we need that page from the branches. The window is shrouded with a thick layer of dust. Not even a glimmer of light shines through. How do we get that? Burn the tree. Burn it down. Wait, we can't go down here? Oh, it's a character. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm scared. Tengo miedo. Crab wall. A long green vine has grown through it. So we found two books, and I don't know which one is the hint for the fog puzzle. 
because both of them seems to give directions but and the voice sounds like right so i'm gonna go the other way the second one the second one is very yeah it's very good and okay, what does it say do not fall asleep do not fall asleep i'll try it's like a siren's call no Oh, we're here. I didn't know this connected with this. Okay. Wait, we had the violin. Oh, we had to put that. There is a note partly obscured by mud. I must have fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear they nodding rats. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me. Coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. Oh shit, the rats. A pile of rat clothes. Caked with mud and full of holes. Oh shit. They should be like they should be like red eyes. On this, on the edges or something. At the rats staring at you. The death roots of a once great tree fill the cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers its surface, and there is a great crack along its length. Put the ball in there. Wait, actually, <laughs> what? Wait, the lady is a tree, bro. I tried that as a joke. The violin has disappeared amongst the roots, as if as if swallowed up. The trunk seems to be expanding. That noise came from above. What is happening? Something must have changed upstairs, no? After we fix the tree, so let's do that. Please, no rats. Also, the singing is gone. I just feel like something is gonna happen, but maybe nothing happens, so I'm paranoid. Oh! The tree has grown! Some of the branches have crashed through the window and into the street. The window has been broken by the tree's branches and its sudden, in, in sudden growth. Intense rays of light stream into the bookshop. Alright, so maybe the... Um, the the piece of paper that we needed, it's there, no? Oh! Here. The paper sheet capturing the branches is now within my reach. One of the pages is a strange poem. Oh, this is the solution for the fog. First into the wind, the sod for the king. But lost were the birds they wept in suffering, and flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence, their quest was complete. Okay. So... So we have the note here, so we don't need to memorize it. So it's... Wind... Birds... See silence. We in birds see, uh, see silence. Okay. Guys, are you following? Uh, we need to. Yeah. So, wind, birds. So, we go here, no? Okay. What the fuck is that thing? What's that? So we go with the birds. Yeah. 
Now we have to go to the sea. That's the wind. I'm guessing this is the silence. Yeah, we need to find the sea sound. This is a cool puzzle, no? Huh? Oh, there you go. I can hear it now. Let's go this way. And now... The silence. We go here, no? Looks like some kind of ruins, no? It's like a temple. Oh, dog. The guy was there. The red hair guy. Who is this guy? Oh. This is the, the, the ticket thing? Your ticket, please. No. Thank you. Please come in. Oh, the four witnesses. One is missing the hat. Huh? Oh, this camera is so good, no? Outside the building. So that guy knows what's up. So yeah, it is a theater. Hello, Jeremiah. I need you will find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. So you sound like a classmate, no? You don't remember my name, do you? I'm Alexander. I'm gonna call him Alexander. What is all this about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Philosophy? True philosophy. Indeed. It was our thirst of foreknowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will care for us when our home, our, our, our hour comes. We have been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protect us it is by his design that we should meet again but we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings his influence and power is ever expanding ever reaching do you not feel him becoming i only want to wake up from this nightmare this is this is not nightmare it is a show a performance the truth we seek lies beyond the curtain now we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on the stage, she said, and soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. <laughs> oh. This belongs to you. Nah, bro. I'm not joining. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not putting that on. Oh! The dearest, her Dr. Wakefield. 
If you are reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. Your, my own investigations have demanded a certain anticipated degree of attention. I have determined that your patient, David, is in serious trouble. I'll contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is the uh, is of the utmost importance. Your friend Johan Kaufman. So, is that another friend or is that the the therapist guy? I'm not sure. The adventure continues to episode four. Okay. Hmm. There is no turning back. Oh, are they keeping me prisoner here? I have made my mind. Huh? So this is the same guy that was waiting for us at the theater, right? The blondie guy? Classmate? Oh, I'm controlling him. I'm ready. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do to me? Go on. Do it. Oh, shit. Do it. Do it! Do what? What do I have to do? Oh. <laughs> Things are getting very serious now. Part of the class, part of the cult. Part of the class, part of the cult. I wonder if at some point there's gonna be a drastic decision we're gonna have to make. I have no idea. I don't remember. Like, sure, we want to find answers, but at what price? You know? Do the means justify the end? Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras. What's this guy? Look now to the forest in the valley, the old tower. From the last tree in the distance, the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil, that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater, the veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, David, a place of mist. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door that gives passage through the veil. Open it and we'll walk together beyond the mist. The last door. Oh, that is getting very cool. I suppose you're wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I've been traveling, doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of Saint Gaul? Why, yes. The tragic event has been continued object of speculation and green rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How is all this connected with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he's one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murder? Thankfully not. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give the, this impression. Her David was attacked and survived. What happened to him then? It seems the criminal was caught by her debit in the midst of the act. Then he tried, 
try to do the same thing to David that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Her David was hospitalized. The nurses report uh, that he remained unconscious for an entire day. And what was David doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that her David was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror in their faces. Ringo. <laughs> I suspect you did not find Mr. David in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since... I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? Uh, I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside her debit, within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Oh? Who injected us? It was not Morphin. Episode 4 Ancient Shadows. <laughs> is this the final episode? I think so. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Bro, why can't you keep the lamp? <laughs> That's a shit. The ancient castle of Pep. Pevensey, rest in the distance. It was a garrison's first built by the Romans. It was abandoned and has been a ruin ever since. Right, so I have to, do, to go to those ruins, castle ruins. Hmm. There is a large iron bar latching the door. Well, take it away. Um, it is quite odd that the door was latched from the outside. I mean, from the other side, it was from the inside. From the other side, no? <clears throat> so, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So that's open now. Let's inspect the rest. This latch you can open from this side. Okay. What is this house? Hello? Oh, well, no one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Do uh, you think that's a good idea? We are uh, trespassing, man. Oh, shit. Never mind. I'm not going there. We are trespassing, man. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. <laughs> nice. Oh. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Could be Pens Heaven Sea Castle, but in this painting the garrison is not in ruins. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Drink it! Where am I? This is the kitchen, no? An oil lamp? Take it. Nice. Wait. There's a paper here. It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. October 12th, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stopper from which it seems he shall not return anytime soon. Another person getting ill, voila, like, hmm. Oh. 
like the father Ernest, no? Since the accident, I, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatment don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? Towards the 13th, the clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. I right, saw so the clock and the statues. This looks like the diary of a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Spices and ingredients. Maybe we have to do something with those uh, objects. So we can open this from the other side, no? Connect this. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. There's a trap door here. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Classic. A well. An ancient stone well, a rope hacked inside, disappearing into the darkness below. This is funny because yesterday we watched uh, Movie Night, we watched The Ring, and then I'm on my own, I watched Ringu for the first time. So, yeah. There's a grave here. Oh, shit. It looks like someone was buried here. That was the nun saving me, you know? I can't dig with my bare hands. Okay, so digging. Old bottles. Okay. Let's go upstairs where we heard the footsteps. The silhouette of a man, it bears a strong resemblance to Alexander. Silhouette of a woman. Help. Alexander! So he's... From the time he told us to come here to now, his health is... This cuckoo clock is covered with dust. It seems to be missing an important piece, the bird. The face of the clock has been turned. Oh, I see. There's like 90 degrees left. Wait, what? What is this thing? Okay. A misty dog overlooks a great ocean. Goes wheel overhead. There's a note here. There is a scribble annotation in this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being in incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives, craving to tear through. It is Sa Ilatal, the curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mist inhabit the shadows of those who left. Ooh. The table holds nothing but a box with the description Laudanum to be taken in case of anxiety. It is empty. Laudanum is what you take in, in amnesia no? to record your mental health. Let's talk to Alexander. Alexander, it's me, David. I'm sorry if I startled you. Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt maybe? Can you stand? He is staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. He's gone. He's not there. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what is happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were they yours? Or is there someone else in this house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he's un unresponsive. Alexander, please, say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. What just happened to him? Maybe we need to find the, the bird, like the clock thing, to wake him up from the hypnosis. 
A huge chest made of oak wood. There is a large iron hook inside. I'll take this hook. There was a fragment of our diary under the hook. August 15th, uh, August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. Their frozen paroxysms with the with what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, attention, an impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let them mold devour them and was make nests on their hollow hearts. So this is a note from Alexander while he was losing his mind. And he was seeing like sculptures moving and it was getting paranoid, right? So they're on the greenhouse. This a uh, camera tripod. Like a oh it's like a Pictures hanging up from my core, they look as if they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Oh, I went out, I went out to do something with the pictures. That's water. What the hell is this? It looks like some kind of red tint glass cover used to mask the lamp. Oh, it's completely shattered on the floor. A lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bulb casts an intense white light. So we probably have to cover that now. The image of a couple wearing a rat mask at a festival. A glass jar containing a yellow substance. The label reads cyanide. Cyanide? Okay. Alright, so maybe we need this for the... So we have a hook and cyanide. We need the... Uh, to reveal the... The film. It is a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. 3149 Collodion for photography. Okay. Pay attention, guys. Class. Collodion is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are an, uh, an united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formula are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing that to its peculiar composition belong to the principal causes of failure or success. This only in a degree true. 3151. To develop a positive image. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding six, five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. Okay. So vitriol. Cyanide water. Huh? 3150. The causes of failure. They will almost require a shatter by themselves. A lot of experience convinces that 9 out of every 10 failures occur from uh, a want of care. The presence of dirt, negligence, what cannot be overnight, careful or clearly. The best results always reward in the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formula, I quickly flow clean the water over the plaque and start again. Okay. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. Huh. Is that a microscope or something? I don't know. Try to keep in mind everything, you know, because... A boost with the, his face turned around. A large envelope of black felt covering dust and ashes. is. It is labeled uh, with a warning. Do not open under white light. Huh? It is a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century uh, alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it will have never visited. Leafing through the green moor and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get definitive results, 
I'll write you. I will write to you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. With that, Nekis Yacht, June eighth, eighteen eighty seven. This guy has like a different formula. No? This seems an invoice. May this document serve as a record of the payment made corresponding to the following work: the Cuckoo Clock. Mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. Quarter past six. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. A picture of an angel with a gentle face. The shelf is lined with strange and complex books. Some titles include The Movements of Shadows, Preserving the Mind and Lessons Beyond Nature. Ah. Let me think. So we have to open the envelope, but not with the light. So maybe with the red light. And then... I cannot do anything here yet. <sighs> Quarter past six, no? Can I move it? How do I change the time? Oh, it says all the clocks are synchronized, so maybe we don't change this one. Maybe we change a different clock. And this one will also move, no? Oh, but which? Oh, there's a clock there. This one? I will craft grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Oh, no. Can I put the hook? No. Let's go to the greenhouse. Is the only place. Oh, also the grave and the. Oh. And the well. Oh man, they so this episode has so many puzzles. Maybe the hook here? No, we probably need a bucket. Uh let's check this. This pain looks as if it had been broken from the inside. Oh the statues. A jar of vitriol oil. I must be careful, it's a powerful acid. A statue of an angel with its wings spread. Its head is missing. So we got the vitriol and the cyanide. Hmm. The, tr the cellar door too. Oh man, this... There is so much stuff in this house. Is there anything else I can do? Can we take the hand from this clock? No. Also, if that clock is turned, does that mean instead of quarter past six, we have to change the hour to accommodate it? Maybe. Okay, so. Can I use this here? Or this? Hmm. I need to put the photographic plate in a suitable place to work. Oh, I can't pull the rope like that? I, oh, it broke. The rope has broken. I'll keep this end. <laughs> Thank you. I got a rope here. So, maybe a rogue and hope? 
I know we've got a hook. With a row. I only one this four. Not too deep for sure. Oh, I can use it there. There you go. So now we can hook whatever was with whatever fell there. Within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. Stop. What? All this for the for the clock, no? When it's shaking, it makes a noise as if there was something inside. <gasps> okay, how do we break it? Maybe the handle of the clock inside, you know? Can I use it here? No. Maybe on the other clock. The bird fits sparkly. Okay, 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 okay. Now what? Still can't do shit, no? Ah, one step closer. I'm not quite there yet. Oh man. Is that like a keyhole, like right here? Can't see it well. I don't know what to do. Can we do the photograph class again? Oh, something is back here. Blood? You had to check check everything twice, man. Holy. The corpse of a deer. Its abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Well, I'm glad I went back. Can I go back here? Here. Wait, there's nothing else? So someone is around, no? I look at a guide for like a little hint. Uh, I didn't realize you could... Uh, I think you can grab the ball. I thought you could only inspect it, but apparently you can grab it. And I'm guessing since uh, the red thingy around it is, uh, is broken, we can use the blood. Oh, okay. I did not know we could grab that. Okay. We can use the blood to cover it on red again. Uh, I see. Makes sense. I knew it has to do something with it here. So. Man, you really have to double check everything, no? There you go. Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. So we're just gonna go back. And place it again. And I, I guess something will be different. Oh boy. Let's see. The image has faded out. Oh my goodness. Oh, so now we can put the envelope here because there is red line, no? I think. Okay, so we put vitriol. The, the oil has caused a strong acidic reaction. Then the cyanide. Then the water, no? Apply the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. Rinse, rinse. So now we can read the content. An image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexander. And someone else, no? Not sure. Where is that? Oh my fucking god. The guys are on the painting. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Holy. Holy jumpscare.
The image is back on the frame. Is there anything different? Oh, we got a photo. Okay, what can we do with a photo? Maybe we show. Maybe we put it here. No, let's try to show it to Alexander. Maybe he re reacts or something. Hello, Alexander. Do you recognize this photograph? Take a look. It is you and your old friend Anthony, and there's someone else blur in the background. Who is the third figure? Does does it mean something to you? Oh, I drop a key, no? The bear awaits. The bear awaits. The bear awaits. A piece of clockwork, a hand. Now we're frozen. Put that there. I put the clock uh, hand in its place. I only need to set the clock to the correct time. Uh. Hello, can I use? So it's uh, this, no? Yeah, but the clock upstairs is is uh, tilted. So if it's tilted ninety degrees, for it to be six, six is the three, no? That means it has to be. Uh, six like this, or like this. Hey, sign came from upstairs. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh, he's say the hell, say the hell. He's waking up. The bird has burst out of the stroke. Now its beak is open. There was a key inside the bird. Sealer key, probably, no? Hey, Alexander! He's having some kind of seizure. He's trembling out of pure horror. Oh no. Oh no. We still have the cyanide, by the way, and the vitriol, so maybe we have to use them again. Yeah. Into the cellar. Oh my! Where are, you? Where are the birds doing there? That's the carpet of ancient origin. Mole and dust cover the portrait, making the subject indistinguishable. This piece of fine furniture has several drawers. Now we need a shovel, guys. We need a shovel. There are remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall. I can't distinguish anything clearly. More statues. Facing away. All ruins. It seems that they were part of a Roman settlement. Ooh, okay. It's like a studio. Or like a lab. A book written in a language unknown to me. There is a scroll annotation written in English on one of the margins. This had no other. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufacture at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand at that time. To accompany the mind to the prosthenium of the big theater. And there, help us to look behind the curtain that separates the world of men from the land of truth. To look, I say, if anything, to apprehend an image of what lives there. Is that, will the hoopo, hoopo, hoopo? Allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond. There had to be fucking trippy balls, high as fuck, injecting yourself drags and shit, no? To uh, discover the truth. I feel you, bro. Been there. Uh, it reminds me of that. That What was that book from uh, Huxley? Uh, uh, the Perceptions of Reality or something like that? Yeah. A huge cage full of leftovers and dirt. Animals have been captive here. So they had. You need animals to make this here, maybe? Jars and test tubes. Everything is soaked in chemical residues. And the air is filled with the smell of vinegar. Also, I wonder, do you guys remember when the, uh, that doctor mentioned that when the, nun, the nuns found us or rescued us from the coffin, we had a syringe next to us? 
they, they inject us with this shit so we can like yeah so we could find the theater innumerable jars all uh, full of murky objects suspended in forma formaldehyde a bunch of the uh, repulsive liquids a few of them have developed on guy inside and label bottles and lab equipment what is this like a chemistry table, no? There's another ball here. So what do we do here? There is nothing to do? Let's go back to Alexander, maybe he's fully waking up now? Doesn't seem like I'm, I can do anything there, so maybe when we go back something is different, I hope so. Oh, there's something in the drawer. Inside this one, there's a garden shovel. Okay, now we can dig the grave. Hold on. Progress! What's in here? There's a lock. A wooden box. It seems too small for a coffin. The lock is very rusted, almost shattered. Can we use the acid? Oh! That was Baldwin, no? The remains of a humanoid body, but with a gross grotesque animal aspect. Maybe a small ape? He has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. Beside the corpse, there is a paper leaf. Dear Alexander, Undoubtedly, your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How did you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with the treatise of alchemy was not accidental. When examining the text closer, I have come to the conclusion that for a time, Raimondus Lully uh, saw the same thing as we did. In his account, he describes a formula that he calls Hopo, yes, like the legendary bird. It's closely, it closely resembles the serum uh, with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity what you tell me about Old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. Videtta Nekisiat, July 2nd. The skeletal fingers of the creature are clutching a rolled up canvas. It's a map of the stars. Oh. Some kind of a navigation map. Several constellations are marked. Altair, Vega, Deneb, the Summer Triangle. Okay. Oh god, that sounds like Alexander! I'm coming! The fuck was that stream? I'm coming! Did you see the eye? Alexander! Wait, where is he? Where is he? Oh my fucking god. That was nice. Ooh, that got me. That got me good. Some diary pages on the wheelchair. The paper is ripped apart. As if someone has stripped it of the book. October 31st. I'm writing this in the light of my best love. Hoping to be able to remember it all. When the birds finally sing and the sun's blessing dispels the dark shadow of the mine. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley. So strong that it has cracked the larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights. So I read a lot while accompanying the professor. I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside and I saw him. The professor was miraculously awake. What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm air right after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon this house, and for a moment, I felt immensely happy. 
I stirred at him for a while without saying anything, being afraid of dispelling a vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then, in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low pitch as the drag of a slab. Mr. Alexander Snore, who was pleasantly sleeping in his bed, I have already made a decision. I will leave this house. <gasps> okay. So whoever they were looking at, that was not Alexander, no? A statue is holding something. It's a lens mounted in a metal ring. Oh, well, we look at the stars with this. Can I? Starlight brings some brightness of the forest to the forest. Kind of use it there. Maybe from below. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm scared now. I'm going to find something in the house, you know. There has to be something on the basement laboratory, no? Let's go there. Now we have the lens. We didn't have that before, right? What? Oh, is that? Is that Alexander trying to talk? Alexander, come back here. Let me. Are you on your wheelchair? Can I help? Need assistance? It's here, no? Oh, this is smooth now. Oh, it's a telescope. There's a dark hole in the center of this room. It delves into the depths of the earth far beyond what I can see. Is a amount of combated snow. This is why we read in the book, no? A wooden secretite desk, beautifully carved. The flip top has none up or locked. Use some strange symbols. Oh, these are the constellations. Okay, 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 okay. Narrow window in the ceiling, the vault. this music okay so we have to do the constellations right how do i leave this screen let me see okay i don't know if i had to do all of them or just the tri the summer triangle you know so let's do just the bright ones the the big white dots altair vega and Deneb. Let's, let's try to do it. So, like, uh, Vega is this one. I, I, I can't, I can't remember. I'm gonna do one by one. And then it is like three very close together, down middle, and up. And then very, two very straight on the left. Uh, I think it's this one. Could be wrong, though. And then Vega is... Altair is... Those three together very close. Okay. I think it's... This one? Oh, I have to do it all at once. No, I think this is not the triangle that I'm looking for. It was so close to the other one. Nice. 
Correct, this is the Summer Triangle. Now what? Now I have to do this, no? Wait, what if I use the lens to look through here? The crystal. The crystal fits perfectly in the telescope. Oh, so these are the symbols. So it's very Altair and that thing. Yeah. This one, this one, and this one. There you go. Okay, we game. This is a small cabinet with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. <gasps> the voice again. It comes from the bottom of the pit. What? 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 Should I drop the syringe? Oh wait. Oh, this is the room we saw at the intro of the chapter. Alexander. Were you pretending this whole time? I'm out. Bye bye. So, oh, he's gonna inject me now. No response. A variety of surgical instruments and some jars with chemicals in them. There's a chair in the middle of the room. This is what you ask uh, me to search for, is it not, Alexander? Am I right? The last door. Zylathel. The last door? We can cross together. What should I do? I'm waiting for you. Here, in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. What is nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its winds. It knows we are afraid. I am ready. Sit down. Want this? Oh, down the neck, damn. Do you think that we'll find a clue here about David's whereabouts? Or oh, the rich, uh, that's Anthony's house, no? The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully, they have overlooked something. They're following my tracks. What about this room? There is a sealed ledger between this table and the wall. It looks like her Beechworth never sent it. I think it's best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open way for whatever lives on the other side. With that, neck is yet. Oh! That was Anthony letters to Alexander. Warning him. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, now we're tripping bolts for real. Are we going to, are we going to that uh, Roman ruins? Where the door is. Is that Alexander? Is that the wings? The adventure continues in season two. <laughs> GG's. Well, that was very cool, no? Uh, very cool puzzles, amazing soundtrack. Characters is okay. The writing is very good. The story is so... Oh my, you just want to keep going to know more. So mysterious. Um, and the graphics are like pixel, but they're, they look cool. I like the art style as well. Uh, so yeah, we need to... To play the second game to find out the, the real ending, no? <gasps> Yo, Minder, welcome! How's it going? I just finished the first game. 
right now. These are the credits. Extras. The more that sentence wonder in the fog, bitch was wake. All oh, these like mini chapters. I don't think I ever seen this. Or is it like you play them, or is it just like reading stuff? Let's let's try it. No. Or is like all the characters' backstory. Scalpel, pincer, scissors. Are we gonna perform an autopsy? To Anthony, maybe. An autonomical, but uh, must be something wrong with the water pressure valve. Uncover this. Good lord, what a mess. Okay, so first you cut. I'm not sh yet sure if I need to cut it all. Scissors? I'll need a sharper blade. Okay, man. Here have the police a medical report. The letter is still blank. According to the police, the deceased name is Father Ernest Glean. The man immolated himself. We were there. So now that you know that, now that you know that, right? You can do something, no? The skin is all scorched. Cause of the death is probably shock caused by the sudden burns. A horrible way of passing. What could lead a man of God to commit such an act? All that remains is to file the medical reports so he can receive the proper treatment a fine gentleman deserves. Nothing else to do here. I shall file the medical report. Okay, fine. Okay. So you're not gonna investigate, actually. This case still puzzles me. If he wanted to commit suicide, why did he do it in such a painful manner? Was he dragged or intoxicated? I should check his stomach for signs of poisoning. <gasps> Hold up. I need to cut his chest open. Ugh. Can you guys imagine working this job? Nah. Alright, the stomach looks fine on the outside. Now I should cut it open to check its contents. This is noise, is dumb. What is this? There's something strange in here. It looks like a piece of paper. What? I need something to keep the stomach open while I extract the thing. It is a note. A crumpled note with four names. One of them crossed out. I think I should inform the inspector immediately. Ernest, Jeremiah, David, Alexander, Hugo, Hugo Ashton? I didn't read the last name. Is that the person we saw in all the paintings with the, the, their face cover? Like scratch? Could be. Uh, that was interesting. A little background information. Okay, that sentence. Francis Baldwin. This was the the guy that tried to bury us alive, no? After being certified of your guilt by a peer jury, we find you guilty of the weak and violent murders of 14 innocent and sick people. Because of this sentence, I am hereby authorized to execute you at this very moment by hanging to death in the sight of God. Would you like to make a final statement before we proceed? But I will just say that I am mad. Uh, you guys, you guys read this, okay? I'm not seeing it. Okay, crazy bitch. That's what you get. Bring back that sentence, guys. In the main square.
Everyone has to see it. Okay. Wonder in the fog. She's the only survivor. What happened to the others? They are all dead. I'd like to talk to her. This is the doctor, no? With the red uh, font. Hurts, I think it's called. Who is this? Is this Anna? Good afternoon, my name is John Kaufman. I am a doctor. Would you mind if I ask a few, you a, a few questions? Please be careful with what you ask. Miss Parnell's state is delicate. I'm perfectly fine and able to talk, sister. Thank you for your consideration. Now, doctor, I understand you want me to repeat my story. I'll be thankful to hear it indeed. I'll stay outside if you need me. I'm a sane woman, doctor. In complete control of my mind and reason. You, you do not dare to question it. I certainly wouldn't. Then I'll commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small. So narrow that I could touch the wooden walls just by raising my elbows. Could you recognize the place? I couldn't tell at first. For a moment, a most dreadful thought crossed my mind. What if I had been buried alive? When I got out, I found myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since, since they sent me to school. A dream? Are your parents there? Do you see anyone there? Your parents or maybe someone you know? No, they were not in the house. Nor was I any servant I had known in the years of my, ch of my childhood. I was alone. I could feel the humid air on my skin and could smell the scent of, of the long time abandoned. I walked the rooms and settled by the silence. The place had the bleak feel of a ruin. Then I saw someone in the opposite end of the corridor. An old woman stared at me. Do you talk to her? Who was she? An old woman? Who was she? How should I know? I hadn't seen her before. I followed her through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost in the burg of Aberdeen. The streets were deserted and a thick fog covered everything. I thought I had seen the old woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have been just shadows. Didn't you see anyone? Where was everybody? So the city was empty? No, not completely. I met some people. Back so this is the same thing we went through before, right? Yeah. Uh, Vagabonds, one of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy too. Tell me about the priest, the novelist. Novelist? Tell me more about the novelist. The woman had never written a word. She created only in her mind, you know? She could tell the story sentence by sentence, with perfect precision, and I could even hear a piece of her last work. What was the piece about? Do you remember anything about the novelist's work? Yes. The piece she told me was something like... The shadows of the past so melted with the land that love silence. Through the fog they walk, found themselves lost. Hoping for a sign from their gods, they set camp on the beach, where thirst thirty birds awaited to meet their crown. So it's like similar uh, riddle that we got to cross the fog, but this one is different, right? Like ours was like something like wind, birds, sea, silence. This one is different, but yeah. So there's, it's like Silent Hill, not like different people getting lost in the fog place. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the priest. Where did you meet him? I met him in a stable. Good lord, he said mass there among the beasts. Could you imagine the profanity? So the boy, what about him? I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, its bones still harnessed to the cart. It was a young man painting the carcass of the animal. Could you talk to this young man? He was deaf, but I think he could read my lips. When he spoke, he did with a clear accent. 
He said he could only listen to the songs of the departed. What happened now? As I walked the fuck up dancer, I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say the thing, but gave me a cardboard card. Then she left. She gave you a playing card? It was uh, one of those used to tell fortune. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. Then the mist seemed to clear out and I could finally see. What could you see? A barren land, bathed by roaring waves. There were thousands of birds and then I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there. It looked at me. The burning dark inside. The shaking. The scream. A vision that I cannot understand. What is it, doctor? I have finally lost my strength of mind. Must be a delusion. I <laughs> believe in your story. Nah, bro. Um, do we guys believe her? I believe her, right? We went through the same thing. I believe you. I'm sure that you, uh, what you leave was real. But I'm afraid that I currently lack any proof that I can confirm your account. I'm sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. Wait, doctor, I have something else to say. When I first woke up here, there was something in beside me. Will this be enough proof? It looks like a tarot card. That was the, the walker, no? Okay, that was cool. So she bring back the car with her. Okay, last one, last one, last one. Beach, uh, Beachworth's Wake. Let's check this one out. Is the funeral? He doesn't. He does not look dead, but just asleep. I barely knew him. Busy as he was traveling the world. What will be of a man with no aspiration for the other side to inspire or lead him? And he will come to this. Your father was a terrible mess of a man. I am only grateful that he brought you to our home. Soon enough, not long after you were born, I hold no doubt that you will learn from his bad example and grow up to be a righteous gentleman. So this is Anthony's father, no? Yeah, and this is Anthony. What could there be greater than the efforts of mortals to rise from their miserable condition? Is that what they're seeking? Are they seeking immortality? We'll speak later, young man. Is this the red hair guy? No, this is doctor, no? So this is the doctor. This is the father. We're busy. This is so sad. He was most dearest to me. You know, your father was a complicated man. He had a strong character and was stubborn as a mule. When he had taken a determination, he believed. He had a mission in this world, though I'm not sure he knew exactly what it was. Well, that which uh, avoids description, the unknown, provides men with a reason to exist. That's very deep, holy. Anything else? Why did he do this? This is an obscure domain, its secrets taken my, by man from the silence of nature and death. You are the John uh, Beechworth, is that right? Your father left you everything, Anthony. The house, his accounts, and all his belongings for you to receive when you come of age. He was very specific in his testament, though, that you should receive this promptly, his personal book log. Ooh. These are the memoirs of my life, my research and knowledge of the other side. So I feel like Anthony's father is literally the beginner, the beginner of everything, because maybe Anthony read this when he was younger, and then when he went to, to the school, he told the others about this shit, and then they all did the the ritual, no? So this was the this is the origin. <sighs> he knew about the veil. Use them wisely, son. Oh, 
Okay, that was very cool to see, actually. That gives so much away. Okay, now we finished the last door. Uh, if I had to rate this game 1 to 10, I'm between like a very high 7 or like an 8, you know? What do you guys think? Like, if it was the two games combining one, I would give it an 8. But if it's just this part, four episodes, blah, blah, here and there. I feel my, my biggest complaint about this one was sometimes, especially in the third and fourth episode, sometimes there is too many notes one after the other, and that kind of like breaks the pacing sometimes. You know, like I don't mind getting some information here and there, but when it's like, okay, read a note, 10 seconds later, another note, 20 seconds later, another note, sometimes you can get heavy. But for the majority of the time, once you have read everything, then you just have the puzzle elements that you have to use to get through the, through the episode. Yeah, I'm gonna give the the last door like a 7.5, but rounding around seven. So yeah, that's it. Boom. So thank you everyone for watching, guys. Thank you for all the beats. Um, I'll catch you next time. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Much love. And bye bye.